Hello everybody. If you clicked on this video, chances are you're in a pickle like me. There are so many options for mod lists out there, but your graphics card is a potato. Well fear not, I have a solution. Only compatible with RTX series and video cards. Sorry, not that potato, more like a potato. This is the Phoenix Flavor Dragon Edition mod list off Wabajack, with a high saturated fantasy look that doesn't stray too far from Skyrim's roots gameplay wise. This mod list is one of the best I've played off Wabajack. But wait a minute, I'm only running at 30 FPS. If only there was something I could do about it. There is. First things first, you just want to head on over to Pure Dark's Patreon and download his ENB test builder for the upscaler. Then just go ahead and add that into the mod list at the very bottom. Enable it. Open it up. Oops. Open up the explorer and then go to the settings. Turn it on to DLSS. Then go ahead and download Beth I and I standalone off of the Nexus and extract that anywhere. I just did it to my desktop for this video's sake and then open that. Choose Skyrim Special Edition for it. Let, it's, let us go find the Phoenix flavor. There we go. It will restart. Now let us go to the organizer. Click yes. Then you're the first thing you're gonna do is turn off your anti-aliasing. Click recommended tweaks and then go to detail and make sure your depth of field is turned off as well. Go to save and exit. Open up your MO2. Click run. Now we'll just give it a second. I'll be back when we get in the main menu should load up into the menu like this. The depth of field is already turned off into the ENB setting that is pre-built into this mod list, so you don't have to go and tinker with its settings. Now, as soon as it loads into the menu, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the upscaler menu to make sure it's fully working. And I'm just going to go ahead and load into the last save I have. Hold on. Upscaler is on, working. Let's see what we can do. Already, I'm at 50 FPS right now, where before I would have been at around 30. Now I am using my uh, GeForce overlay, so you can't see it in this video recording, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot right now and show you. Alrighty, let's walk around a little bit already not seeing a drop in quality at all much much better frames though getting some shadow flickering right there but that's just it not loading in overall yeah this looks really really good now i cannot fast travel around right now to show it off but I was getting 30 FPS everywhere outside before I 
put in the DLSS and oh right now I'm getting a clean clean 60 which I showed this off in the clips earlier that is just not what I was getting so yeah that should be how to do it I'm only going to be troubleshooting on a clean install because that is what I'm working with there's a lot of pieces at play here so I don't really know how to troubleshoot if it's not clean uh, please comment down below if you enjoyed and if there's anything else you would like me to do uh, as always thank you so much for watching Peace.